Red Bull Sergio Perez clinched another victory on the Baku circuit following a sprint race win as he emerged triumphant in the Azerbaijan Grand Prix on Sunday. In a race filled with excitement and unexpected incidents, Perez led his Red Bull teammate Max Verstappen and Ferrari's Charles Leclerc across the finish line, thereby strengthening his bid for the championship title. Let's take a look back at the events that transpired this past weekend. Stay tuned. In the initial phase of the race, Verstappen and Perez surpassed the pole sitter, Leclerc, and engaged in a battle for supremacy by setting the fastest lap times. However, the pivotal moment of the race occurred when a safety car was introduced, just as the Red Bull drivers were about to make their pit stops. While Nick de Vries halted on the track, prompting the deployment of yellow flags, Verstappen made his pit stop. Subsequently, a safety car was introduced, and Perez entered the pits and emerged ahead of his teammate, thereby taking the lead. Verstappen dropped to the third position, which necessitated that he overtook Leclerc once again. Although he accomplished this effortlessly when the race restarted, he was unable to make any progress on Perez and had to accept second place at the finish line. Following the restart, Verstappen succeeded in overtaking Leclerc, but he believed that the poorly timed pit stop had harmed his prospects of winning the race. He suggested that this matter should be investigated by the team. Verstappen spoke on the incident, saying, I saw that there was a car stopped. I thought he may be just locked up. In hindsight, I mean, I can't see that, but it's something to review. I mean, clearly, you could see there was one wheel damaged and it looked like he was not going to drive that anyway back to the pits, even if he would have reversed. So something to look at, because of course that then did hurt my race after that. You see it on the screen, but you cannot look into detail if the wheel is connected to the car properly. I mean, of course the team has a bit more overview to that, but like I said, you know, we'll look into that if there was anything we could have done different. I also don't know when the exact call came to pit, so it's a bit difficult to say at the moment. Verstappen clarified that he wanted to accelerate at the restart in order to bridge the gap with Perez and enter the DRS range. However, he ended up degrading his tires excessively in his endeavor to catch up. Consequently, he opted to fall back and conserve his tires, especially since he was grappling with balance issues in his Red Bull RB19. After the safety car, I tried to put the pressure on Checo to try and get into that DRS. I think one time I was pretty close to getting it, but I was just hanging in there really close, trying to really catch up. I probably damaged my tires a bit too much early on for such a long stint, so then at one point, I just settled in, tried to do a little bit of my own thing to not damage the tires completely to the end. But it was just very difficult to have a good balance on entry to mid-corner, and a lot of the time here is about entry to mid-corner to get that right and I was just struggling with oversteer and then understeer, so the whole race I was trying to do a lot of things on my steering wheel to try and get a bit of a better feeling and balance in the car. I actually think that I found a good compromise towards the end of the race, because I think my last 10 laps were a lot stronger and I felt a lot happier with the car, how everything was behaving. But perhaps even more interesting was what happened at the sprint race the day before. Amid a season where Max Verstappen and Red Bull seemed to be dominating, the Azerbaijan sprint race served as a reminder that he cannot take his success for granted. George Russell, Mercedes' driver, refused to give any leeway, causing Verstappen to become agitated and engage in a heated exchange with him both on and off the track. Verstappen issued a warning to Russell, indicating that he would seek retribution in the future. Russell, who began and concluded the race in fourth position, battled Verstappen, who was in third, right from the start as they contended through the initial turns. Eventually, the Briton executed a successful move on the inside of turn 3. However, Verstappen was extremely displeased as Russell had made contact with him while navigating turn 2, causing damage to the Red Bull's side pods. Verstappen also believed that Russell had forced him wide and into a close encounter with the wall at turn 3. Upon leaving their respective vehicles, Verstappen confronted Russell, who apologized, attributing the incident to a lack of grip. Mate, we all have no grip. You need to leave a bit of space, but expect it next time the same, you know? While talking to the media post-race, Verstappen said, It's not clarified. I just don't understand why you need to take so much risk in lap 1, understeer into my side pod, create a hole. We all have cold tires. It's easy to lock up. His beautiful way of explaining, Ah, mate, you know you locked up. Ah, look at the onboard. It doesn't make sense. There's a hole in the side pod. It doesn't look that great. 
it is what it is now, and we'll focus on tomorrow. Verstappen acknowledged that he and Russell had not previously encountered any problems. Nevertheless, as they crossed paths for the first time, Russell was unwilling to yield and offered a snarky reply. Verstappen had previously alluded to the fact that, given Mercedes' current difficulties, his and Red Bull's supremacy has made them a target for teams not involved in the title race. I felt I left him enough room. Apparently, I guess it's not hard to hit a Red Bull car for them. When asked about calling the Mercedes driver a dickhead during their altercation, the two-time world champion said this. At that moment, of course I think so. If you now say, that was not my intention, that's already something. We all had cold tires. It's just a bit churlish. The British driver has since provided a response, positing that the Red Bull luminary would have responded similarly if he were in Russell's position. In an interview with Sky Sports, Russell stated, I was on the inside, and I was quite surprised that he was resisting it so much. I'm here to fight, and the move is on. Ever since we're in go-karts at the age of eight, you're on the inside of a corner, at the apex is your corner, and if you're trying to hold on the outside, you know the risk you're taking. If the roles were reversed, I'm sure he would have done exactly the same. It's part of racing. We'll move on. We're big boys and it's Formula One. Russell continued his passionate response by indicating that Verstappen should have given way since he had more at stake in that situation. The British driver also acknowledged his surprise at Verstappen's post-race reaction given the circumstances surrounding the incident. We're all here to fight, he said. We're not here to crash into each other, but that's racing sometimes when you're pushing the limits. He's got a lot more to lose than me. He just had to wait one lap and he would be back past with the speed they have. I don't really know what more to say. I was quite surprised and wasn't expecting this reaction afterwards. Verstappen responded to Russell's comments, where the Mercedes driver declared he wouldn't simply let someone pass him because they are Max Verstappen. This statement doesn't sit well with the Dutch driver, who said, I didn't say that either but you can also attack me without attacking my car. Russell contended that Verstappen was also taking a risk by holding his position on the outside instead of yielding. To which Verstappen replied, And that's not allowed because Princess George is sitting there? Oh yes, I would have driven him full into his side pod of course. Really smart. If Russell and Verstappen were to come battle again in the following races, how do you think both parties will handle the situation? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.